Ever wondered, how exactly does a touchscreen even work? I tap an app, it opens. I swipe, it scrolls. I pinch, it zooms. But wait, it's just a glass. How does glass know what I'm doing? How does it know the difference between a tap and a swipe? Is it reading pressure? Is it sensing movement? And who even thought this was possible? Okay, let's break it. Back in the 1960s, a British engineer named Ia Johnson came up with the first idea of using a finger to control a screen. He called it a capacitive touch system. No phones yet, just a concept that changed everything. And it starts with two types of touchscreens. The first kind of touchscreens were resistive, two thin layers stacked like bread in a sandwich. You press down, they squish together, the system reads touch. Simple, but clunky. But your phone today, that's capacitive. And this is where you come in. Your finger carries a tiny electric charge. The screen has an invisible grid of sensors, buzzing with an electric field. The moment your skin touches, you disturb that field. It's basically the screen saying, aha, the electricity changed right here. That's how it knows exactly where you are. Pretty wild, right? That's why you can't use them with gloves. No charge, no signal. And get this, it wasn't Apple that came up with this. Way back in 1992, there was a thing called the IBM Simon, the first ever smartphone with a touchscreen. Ugly by today's standards, but it proved the idea worked. Then the iPhone just made it smooth, addictive, perfect. So remember, it's not magic. It's proof that humans can take the craziest, strangest ideas and turn them into reality. Make sure to like and subscribe for more curious facts. And let me know in the comments. Was this something you knew before? Or did you just learn it now?